Hello friends, Metapod here, and today I'm playing some more Adventures of Mana on my mobile device. <laughs> um, we're going to load where we left off last time. And uh, if you remember, Fuji just went missing. Someone uh, seems to have taken her in the middle of the night. Whoops while we were sleeping and she oh yeah she gave us the cure spell and uh, we can equip it to this ring or no from the ring to these three uh, shortcut spaces over here which I have set up let me make sure I have that on right bumper and I have that on Y okay I want this one to be cure. Alright, so now my Y button will be cure, which is nice. And uh, the only leads we had was that there's a Pete Cellar with a magic mirror in it, and down here to the south is the Lizardman's Den. And these lizard men guard the key to the peat cellar. That's the only kind of uh, clues the game has given us, so that's what we're gonna do is go down here and get the key. And then head over to the peat cellar. sell the key and break the treasure chest because that's always fun. In the Game Boy version it was a bronze key and uh, speaking of the Game Boy version I have gotten to the end of the game and hold on I need to concentrate to do this properly. <laughs> I need to equip the silver key and then we can walk into the door. Well, this guy's gonna talk to us. I hear your friend has gone missing. If the locals are to be believed, disappearances are not uncommon. They also whisper that the young victims are kept in caskets in the manor cellar. You wouldn't be thinking of going down there alone, would you? Perhaps I can help. It is said there are creatures dwelling within this cavern that cannot be harmed with mere stone or steel. Should our paths cross with such abominations, I shall use my magic to send them back to the pit whence they came. So they came from a pit? Alright, let's go back and re-equip the candy. But yeah, I've been playing uh, the Game Boy version on Twitch, and I finally got to the end of the game. And I can't beat it. Whoa, because it is way too hard for me. And uh, my mage build is not holding up very well. Um... Hey, we attain the next level. And that one I did throw in a few levels into Monk and levels into Sage. This one I'm doing pure Mage. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It's probably going to be even harder than my Game Boy run. What with having two attack, or two strength I mean. I think this is the way we want to go first. Oof, that did a lot of damage. It's a good thing we have our cure spell equipped to the Y button. Hey, the mysterious stranger just killed that with a fireball. Nice job, dude. Whoa. I almost got hit there. Alright, you can see this uh, suspicious pattern of stones here leads to a wall that we can uh, not talk away. Oh, 
we slide across the ice and we find a sickle. And a sickle is a new weapon for us that is really fun to use. It flings around us in a circle and can cut these grass things, which we will need soon. As that is going to be our key to getting through this dungeon and getting the mirror at the end. It's also good because it attacks in a radius around your character. Um. <laughs> Why? Why was that moving like that? That's my controller being a little jank. But you can hit things in all directions around you, so you don't have to be perfectly lined up to hit things now. Um, and it has a pretty wide range away from your body, so we're pretty safe swiping it around near enemies. Oh, that hurt. These slimes can only be defeated with magic. Um, you see the suspicious pattern of grass here and a little crack in the wall. Another place we need to matok. Now, if only Mysterious Stranger would help out and actually attack the slimes. Um, I don't think we need to go in there. I think it's just a recovery spring. So I'm going to save my keys. If I remember from the Game Boy version correctly. I guess they could have changed it in this version, but it seems to be pretty faithful. Oh, but what I was saying earlier is I uh, got to the end of the game in the Game Boy version, and I can't beat the final boss. Um, because I don't have any magic, and I don't think he's even vulnerable to magic. Um... Hopefully they changed that in this version if I can attack him with magic, but uh, I'm out of MP. And I have just enough to beat the first form of the boss, if I'm lucky. And then he has another form after that that I can't beat. Because I'm attacking him with my five strength sword. <laughs> And in this one, it'll be a two strength. And there are these uh, enemies. I won't spoil what kind of enemy, I guess. But um, there were enemies in the game that couldn't be hurt, that could only be hurt by the sword. And I was doing like one damage at a time and sitting there chipping away at them. It took so long. So long to finish those fights. Alright, here's another suspicious place. This is called Marsh Cellar. It was called a peat cellar. I guess it's the peat cellar in the marsh. Okay. That name makes sense, I guess. All those things just went underground. There's one. It went back. Oh my gosh. Why are they being like this? Come on, stay out here. I just want to kill you. Well, of course it appears, like, on me. Skeleton guys. Let's see, they take... Three hits from the sickle. The door is locked tight. Okay, now we're gonna bring out one of our keys from our key ring. 
Man, my phone's vibrating. Then we need the Matak again. Where's our old one? How many uses did it have? I thought two. Wow, we might not have been able to get through here. I don't know if we can get through here with just these two, or if we needed more than two. No, we made it, okay. We didn't need the second Matoc that we found from the treasure chest, but that was, that was a close one. Now we see a two-headed Hydra going crazy here. I think in the Game Boy version you had to hit its neck, but in this one you can hit its heads. And it works. And the sickle has a pretty wide range, so... We're pretty, pretty safe attacking it where it can't bite us. Plus that guy's actually hitting it with fireballs. Whoops. Whoops, I used the Matok. I meant to use my Cure Spell. But I pressed the wrong button. Oh, we can hit the body, too. And we should be fine to just kind of whack at it, even if we get hit, because we have plenty of MP to cast our Cure Spell. That guy keeps dying. of HP. I guess we are attacking it with weapons and we have two strength. Okay, maybe we don't have plenty of uh, <laughs> MP to keep casting Cure and getting hit all these times. In the Game Boy version, the strat was basically just stay a little lower than it. And then whack it while it bit ahead of itself, but this one it seems to be able to turn its heads and bite you. But it also seems like you have time to let it bite. Oh, it still hit me. And then go and whack it. Hey, it died to a fireball. You slay the Hydra. Then we get two treasures here. Get out of the way, dude. We got the Book of Fire and learn the Spell of Fire, which is really nice because now we finally have magic to use. And break that chest, and we get the Moon Mirror. If that mirror is indeed what people claim, I believe it may show us the Ketmaner's butler's true colors. It has been fun, but I must be off. I wish you the best of luck in locating your displaced companion. Farewell. And then we warp back out to uh, where we were before, to the entrance of the peat cellar. And we can equip our fireball. Whoops. I didn't mean to equip it normally. Equip it over here. And uh, I think that's 
right bumper, yes. And so now we can shoot fireballs, and we can finally kill these guys. Yeah, if I can actually hit them. Oh, I used my MP trying to shoot the fireballs while I got hit. I'm just kind of rushing through here now. <laughs> Back at the Cat Manor, and then we can go talk to him with the Moon Mirror equipped, and some stuff will happen. But I'm gonna go rest because we need HP and, more importantly, MP. There we go. Now we can shoot fireballs. But you will have to wait till next time to see how that works, because we are going to save here. And I will see you guys later. Have a good one, and bye-bye.